a somber start to the holiday weekend as fire crews across the state are remembering a Belle Plaine firefighter who died earlier this week. 54-year-old Mike Gow was also a MnDOT employee. He was killed on Wednesday evening when he was hit by a dump truck near the intersection of Rockford Road and Nathan Lane in Plymouth. John Lawrenson has been in Belle Plaine this morning where a number of departments are honoring Gow. And John, even if you didn't know this firefighter, it was very personal to all those. Yeah, that's what we're learning, Jonah. And you can see the fire truck that's been put on display behind me with Gow's helmet, his jacket, his boots. People have been leaving flowers as they stop by and pay their respects this morning. Uh, he, Gow worked for Bell Plain Fire for 23 years and was a big part of this town. Now, yesterday there was a procession for Gow that a number of departments took part in and it went through a number of cities. His friends in the Henderson Fire Department say Gow could always be found by following the sound of his laughter, he was the 2021 Firefighter of the Year in Belle Plaine. As his colleagues mourn his death, other departments like Cologne, Green Isle, and Henderson have stepped up to fill in for Belle Plaine. We got family friends on, on our department, just being neighbors to the north. Um, it's always tough. It's tough for everybody. You got to check up on your guys and check up on, um, you know, the guys in Belle Plaine, the guys on our department, and all around. You, you're amazed when you see the line of people that came out for something like yesterday, um, you know, how many lives he's touched. And, and that's not just him, that's everybody on the department. Yeah, and we're learning that these volunteer uh, firefighters that have come in to help Bell Plain will be here as long as they need through this holiday weekend here for uh, emotional support and obviously here to take calls if needed. And coming up tonight at 5 o'clock, Jonah, more on Mike Gow. What he meant to Bell Plain. He was a husband and father of three. He was a big volunteer in youth sports. It meant a lot to this community. May his memory be for a blessing. Thanks, John.